Hi everyone, David Bound here of the Bound Golf Academy and welcome to this look at uh, Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. Now, the reason I've got this video on here is just to go from what I did a few weeks ago on Rory's big mistake and I wanted to show you these uh, these drawings of Tiger and Rory's swing path now this now it's not an ideal uh, look at this but I've managed to put these uh, lines on to give you um, an understanding of what I saw t uh, Rory doing a few weeks ago at the WGC match play event now Tiger here he's gonna play a kind of a stinger shot here the one that uh, he hits low and I just want to compare him with what Rory is doing and Tiger obviously has has hit form he's had three PGA Tour wins this season his short game and his putting is coming back to Tiger standard and uh, he is looking um, the world number one there's no doubt about it and it'll be really interesting to see how he goes at the Masters because when he's putting and short games on form he can score and uh, he's showing a lot of that form so far this year now what I've done here as I say is we've just put these lines in and one thing we notice with both players, their shoulders are pointing slightly left of where their feet are pointing. Now, as Tiger takes the club back, he's got his hands quite low, and his hands work in towards him, and the club head stays outside his hands. And I've done my best I can to just show you the white line on the path of the club going up. If we look at Rory, you can see his shoulders are pointing left also, and you can see the distance between his hands, the shaft there, and his legs. And then as he goes back, you can see that that widens. He is pushing, lifting his arms up and you'll see where the club head is going on an upward path there on that white line and this is what I saw at uh, the Accenture match play in Tucson a few weeks ago he looked really exaggerated his, his path up was going way up and then he was coming down slightly more underneath and it made it look really uh, an extreme um, variation in movement now Obviously Rory is struggling, but I mean Tiger here, if we go back to him on the left, you can see how everything is more compact. He's going up on the white line. We just clip over to Rory and you can see how Rory's left arm is much more out in front of him than Tiger. His arm's kind of separated away from his uh, turning of his body and you can see that left arm of Tiger is much more across his chest. Rory is much more out there in front of him. And as we take Rory up to the top, as I say, we've got lots of lines here. It's the best I could do. And there he is at the top of the backswing. Now, if we go to Tiger, okay. Now, if you watch Tiger here as he's coming down, the path of that club head is very, very close to the path going up, the downward path and the upward path. Look how consistent he is here. 
So maybe that's one of the reasons why Tiger is hitting top form. He's more consistent in his long game. He's getting his confidence. Uh, he can practice his short game more. His putting's coming on. And of course, we know how he knows how to win. Just take him to impact here. If we click back to Rory. You can just see the difference here between the white line, red line coming down. That is quite a huge difference. And I must say, I don't quite know how Rory McIlroy can go from how he was swinging it last year and all that success he had towards the uh, middle of the season and the end of the season. And he was swinging the club much better than he is now. And looking at this swing, it just shows you how talented he is that he can still hit the ball so well on the range, but uh, it just proved too much in competition. Now, I've seen his, him swing in the last few weeks, and it looks to be he's really worked at it, and it looks much better. And obviously, he's got to get his confidence back. Playing, He's playing in Texas this week. The Masters coming up next week. He gets his short game and putting. You never know. Things can change so quickly. But I just thought I'd show you this. And you can see how he's stretching out there, chasing after it. His rhythm still looks good. He's still very fluid. He's very flexible. And so it all flows. But he is definitely, uh, a month ago, had a lot of difficulty with the path of the club going up and then dropping it underneath so that's a huge huge change we just bring Rory back to impact take a look here Tiger still well over the ball and it just looks very very neat very efficient. That club's just coming around on that arc. Rory's having to rely on a lot more hand-eye coordination and that's really what's stopping him. He hits some really fantastic shots still, but he's missing shots that he never did before. So, it's not as important on the upswing, that path going up, but the downswing is so important and um, it's just Rory's having to work very hard, use his great hand-eye coordination to try and compensate going up one way and dropping down. I know we've got people like Keegan Bradley, Jim Furyk, but Rory doesn't swing the club like that. He's much better like he was last season when the club's coming up and down much more on a, on a similar path. So anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed that video and I just wanted to put it on there so you can compare it. Um, and if you'd like to view more slow motion swings of the best players in the world, just subscribe to my golf channel, which is at David Bound PGA on YouTube. You can also visit my website at www.boundgolf.com to gain any further information. If you have any comments, you can go to my YouTube channel and please feel free to put those on and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you'd like to have your own online swing analysis, as I say, there's more information on my website. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video and there'll be another one or two coming up very shortly and uh, we're all looking to the, forward to the US Masters. Anyway, see you next time.